So we need to calculate this enthalpy for this reaction, and we're given three subreactions to do that. And to complete this, we need to use Hess's law, which basically states that the enthalpies of the constituent reactions add up to the enthalpy of the total reaction. So let's do this. First, we need to manipulate these three equations so that they add up to this. And I see here in this first equation that we have a, CH, a C2H2 on this side, on the left side, but the total reaction requires the C2H2 to be on the right side. So let's just uh, reverse this whole first equation, and that will give us 2CO2 plus H2O yields C2H2 plus 5 halves of O2. And as you can see, I wrote the delta H's on the side. And when we reverse the equation, we need to do the same thing to the delta H, or the enthalpy of the reaction. So instead of a negative 1,299.5 kilojoule per mole um, enthalpy change, we're going to have a positive enthalpy change. So this is going to be positive 1,299.5 kilojoules per mole of reaction. And a mole of reaction is just uh, this whole equation right here. Now, let's go on to the next one. I see that the carbon is in the same place on the left side of the equation, but we need two moles of the carbon. So we have to multiply this whole equation by two. And what we do over here is going to be the same thing for the enthalpies. So instead of negative 393.5, we're going to multiply that by two which gives us negative 787 kilojoules per mole of reaction. Kilojoules per mole of reaction. And we now have 2C plus 2O2 yields 2 moles of CO2. Okay, so the last one. I see that we have H2. It's on the left side of the equation, like we need it to be over here. Uh, we could just ignore these and ignore. So it looks like we could just leave this third equation by itself. And I also said that we could ignore these because they're not even in the equation here. So that's going to tell us that they're probably going to cancel out once we add up these three. So let's see how that works. Uh, I forgot to write the enthalpy for this last equation. So let me just write that down. And now let's add these all together. So I see 2CO2 over here. Um, is there any other place where we have CO2? And yes, it's over here. So these two cancel out because they're on opposite sides of the equation. Now I have H2O. I have another H2 over here. And since this one's on the left, this one's on the right, they cancel out. C2H2, uh, I don't see any more. So we're just going to leave that on the right side of the equation. Then we have 5 halves O2. Now, I see O2 over here and O2 over here. When we add two and one half, that's going to leave us with five halves. So all of these oxygens cancel out. And now we're left with 2C plus H2 yields C2H2, just like we needed over here. So that's a sure sign that we're on the right track. Now all we have to do is add up these enthalpies, so 1,299.5 minus 787 minus 285.8, which gives us 226.7 kilojoules per mole, and that should be the answer.